Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, today in the news, we uh, have something that is uh, of interest because it can have an impact overall on Microsoft's own uh, operating system and our security uh, in general. So, of course, first of all, a zero-day exploit was actually um, disclosed yesterday. And, of course, that means the bad guys, the hackers, know uh, what it's all about and how to actually exploit it. And it actually gives uh, that zero day the capability of um, anybody getting admin rights and controlling a PC. Now, when asked why he didn't just tell Microsoft and you know keep it quiet, because that's what, in general, security researchers do, he actually said... Well, I disclosed it because Microsoft isn't being fair with uh, us. As Microsoft has what they call a bug bounty uh, program. And what is that bug bounty monetary reward? Is if you find a security flaw in a product from Microsoft, like Windows, you can get paid for letting them know because they can fix it and it helps the overall quality and security of the product. But many of the uh, bug bounty uh, researchers, because a lot of them are actually full-time working on trying to find security flaws so that they can make a living off of this bug bounty program, and of course it helps all of us, but apparently... Um, Microsoft is making huge reductions in its bug bounty monetary rewards. And many accusations coming from several security researchers. And some of the rewards are slashed up to 90%. Uh, for example, they had an example of Marcus Hitchens, uh, Hutchins, that is malware tech on Twitter, that says that a bug bounty reward that was for a zero-day finding was $10,000 before, and now it was $1,000. It's, you know, 10 times less, which is making a lot of the security researchers mad. And that is, of course, very bad, because that means if they don't pay, well, these guys won't want to work and try to find any security flaws. And if that happens, that means that the risk of having more security flaws that are undisclosed and that we don't know about and that hackers can find out is, of course, increased. So um, I don't know if that's the case. I think Microsoft needs to sit down and really reverse this decision because it's extremely important for Microsoft to pay and pay good uh, bounties to, uh, you know, good rewards to the bug bounties uh, program uh, f so that, you know, security researchers want to work and try to find bugs. Every company does this. Every company has a bug bounty reward program. Um, you know, Apple has it, um, Google has it, and they pay out. You know, they try to give you money because they want, they know that by finding security flaws, well, it's money well invested and it keeps all of our products secure. So I just hope that Microsoft understands that and that they are not, you know, going to reduce those um, rewards to a point where security researchers won't care about Windows anymore. And that will be a huge risk because that will also mean that we might end up with, you know, operating systems and software that is less secure after a certain time. So maybe the fact that now it's kind of out in the open, Microsoft will change its mind and give more money. But um, it's sick, it, you know. It's it's kind of a little uh, scary when several researchers are saying, "No, you, they're getting cheap on the rewards now." If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.